At the end of the day, Trump is the wrong kind of pushback. I think in many ways he's just like the establishment. He cares about power. He doesn't really care about things like the Constitution. And uh, I'm concerned that um, he could push us in a very dangerous direction. Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're sitting down with Representative Justin Amash of Michigan. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks. Uh, we're at the Students for Liberty Conference. Uh, tell us, what it, between now and 2016, what are the most important votes for a libertarian-leaning Republican? We'll probably have some privacy votes coming up. The encryption bill, um, encryption issues are hot, so we'll probably have some bill related to encryption. We're working on something in my office to try to uh, protect companies like Apple, uh, make sure that the government is going through the proper process if they're asking for anything and not asking companies to do things that we think violate uh, the First Amendment, violate uh, what uh, we think companies should be required to do under, this, under our Constitution. What are the prospects for growing the number of congressmen and senators who, like yourself, believe in shrinking the size, scope, and spending of government in 2016? I think it's pretty good. I mean, it will depend on this presidential election. I actually think if you get someone like uh, Trump into office, you might actually improve the prospects for uh, liberty candidates going forward because you'll need someone who's going to stand up to uh, what seems to be a more authoritarian type of, of system. What, so, well, you, you brought up uh, Donald Trump, who's leading the Republican race as we speak, and that may or may not change. You've endorsed Ted Cruz. Mm -hmm. um, is Trump a bigger threat to freedom than, say, Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders? Or how do, how do, you, how do you work through that math? Yeah, and first, I endorsed Rand Paul, of course, yeah. and then I've endorsed Ted Cruz now that uh, Rand Paul has uh, stepped out of the race. I think that Trump uh, presents a kind of threat to our system that is maybe in some ways bigger than what the Democrats present because uh, he's attacking from the right or what's perceived as the right. And I think actually what he's pushing is basically a leftist philosophy, but he's coming at it from the Republican Party uh, side of things. So if he undermines the concept of liberty on our side of the aisle, and you already have the Democrats weekend where they've basically given up on the concept of following the Constitution, I don't know who's left, and so in some ways it could be more dangerous. Who, uh, why do you think Trump is doing so well among Republican primary voters? If, if he is, represents a kind of assault on limited government, which is ostensibly what Republicans believe. I think there's, there's a lot of anger out there. I'm not sure it's related to his policies. It's more his, his approach. They like his style. He's telling it like it is as they see it. Uh, he's telling off the people who have been uh, screwing them over for all these years. They, f they feel that Congress is hurting them, that the president's hurting them, and here's a guy who's going to come in and, and make them pay for it. And um, I think that's popular. So what's the best outcome uh, for the 2016 election, as far as you're concerned? I think the best outcome at this point is, of course, someone like Ted Cruz, uh, because Ted Cruz is a constitutionalist, a constitutional conservative. Uh, libertarians like me have some concerns about some of his positions, but I think we can work with him. If you have someone like uh, Trump or Rubio, you move pretty far away from libertarianism. So what, what is it about Cruz that you can work with? Because uh, And in your endorsement of him, you talked about how he's not libertarian and there's a lot of differences on things like foreign policy, on immigration. Um, what is it about him that makes him different than, say, a Rubio or a Trump? Well, uh, philosophically, he's more grounded in constitutional principles. And when you look at his foreign policy, in many ways, it's much more rooted in the ideas that are supported by people like me and Rand Paul and Mike Lee than it is uh, uh, by people like Rubio. Uh, Rubio and Graham and McCain are in their own world. Um, they're very uh, interventionist. Uh, they believe that uh, you go into other countries and you nation build. And uh, Cruz doesn't come from that perspective. Now, some of the rhetoric on the campaign trail, I think, has been a little too charged uh, on his part. Uh, but I think he's much more rooted in our, in our philosophy than he is in theirs. And uh, I've had lots of conversations with him. I know he's a person I can work with, and he's a person I can persuade. I can't say the same of uh, Senator Rubio or Donald Trump. Um, we are at the Students for Liberty conference. And uh, when you were a student, what was the most important issue on campus to you? And is it still a big deal for you? For me, it was probably economic issues at the time. I was studying economics and uh, learning about uh, the market, learning about free markets, and those were probably the number 
uh, the the top issues uh, for me. And thankfully, <laughs> we have perfectly free markets now, right? Yeah. So, we don't so have to sweat. But uh, over time, I've become more of a civil libertarian, uh, more than I ever would have expected, and that happened because there really was that gap. Uh, I came to Congress and found that there weren't that many people protecting our liberties, our, our civil liberties, our privacy, our rights. And uh, there are people out there talking about economic issues, but on the civil liberties side and the surveillance and those, those kinds of things, you, there, aren't, there aren't that many people. Do you uh, find that that resonates well with students today? I mean, are they interested in, um, in civil liberties more than economic liberties, or, and, or do they see them as joint? Uh, it depends on which students you talk to, but um, I would say that, yeah, it's, it's probably more important today than it used to be, and technology has something to do with that. People are using uh, their iPhones and uh, Twitter, and they're concerned about their privacy. Uh, well, what makes you pessimistic these days, especially pessimistic, and then what makes you optimistic? Well, look at uh, Trump. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's doing really well in the polls. Um, and look, uh, the fact that I have concerns about Trump doesn't mean that the establishment is good. The current establishment is, is why we have Trump. They, people are fed up with them, and, and I've uh, got serious problems with them, and that's why I ran for office, is to, to present some pushback against them. But um, at the end of the day, Trump is the wrong kind of pushback. I think in many ways he's just like the establishment. He cares about power. He doesn't really care about things like the Constitution. And uh, I'm concerned that um, he could push us in a very dangerous direction. So uh, what makes you optimistic, if anything? I, I look at the House Freedom Caucus, which I'm a member of. And this is a group of about 40 conservatives and libertarian-leaning conservatives. I'd say I'm probably the most libertarian person in that group. Um, but those uh, folks have moved in a much more libertarian direction over time from when I first met them. And I think uh, my influence has made an impact there. And I feel good about the fact that we have a core group of about 40 people who can influence the Republican Party because that, that group is a pretty formidable block. And we've been able to push back on corporate welfare, on uh, civil liberties violations, and on foreign policy issues too. And, and it's made a difference. All right, well, we will leave it there. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks, Nick. We've been talking with Representative Justin Amash of Michigan. We're at the Students for Liberty Conference, and I'm Nick Gillespie for Reason TV.